Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing slash apply test, whatever else. You're going to see how I apply the products. You're also going to see how I feel about the products. My first impressions, obviously, I have not been using those products for months. So it doesn't mean just because I personally don't uh, enjoy a product or even if I do enjoy a product that it's going to work for you. But I'm going to try my best to be pretty neutral. Okay, I'm gonna try. If you are interested to see how this month's box performed in my opinion, then please just keep on watching. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for any future videos that have coming up. And yeah, just keep on watching. All right, this month's theme is Glitz and Glam. Honestly, I think this is probably the most pretty card I have ever seen. We're gonna start off with the first product on here, which is the Real Hair Plush Kit, which retails for $32. This is the little guy right here. Now I did use some Real Her products in the past and to be honest with you guys, I have not always been like a great fan of their products. I do think they have some that are pretty decent, but to be honest with you, I think that they do have to work a little more on some of their formulas. Everything the company stands for, if you do your research on them. And I do think that they do have a lot of great potential. Okay, I just wanna put that out there. So when I first got this, I was thinking, oh no, you know, I'm really curious to see how those products perform. I am. I like it. Um, it does come with like a pearl pinky shade. Then it comes with a little bit more of an orangey shade. And it also comes with a little bit more like of a brown. Yeah, it's a little bit more on the brown purpley side. Though this one is very shimmery as you can tell. The color payoff is okay. I don't, I'm not really into glittery blushes just because I find that with me I have a lot of pores. I have a lot of imperfections on my skin. I feel like it does kind of emphasize that and just bring it out a little bit more. So I used this shade today. And I will say I actually did enjoy it. The only thing I don't really like is that those two look kind of matte in the pan. And then once you apply it there's still a little bit of shimmer pulling up. If you don't have a problem with that I do think that this is really nice. And I can really use this in my collection. All right, next is the crown brush deluxe blush brush, which I thought was really cute that BoxyCharm actually put the blush and the blush brush together. Now I do own some other crown brushes, have never really been disappointed with them. This is the brush right here. I do enjoy that brush, um, to be honest. I do find it a little, as for me personally, because I do have a little bit of some space on my face. My face is not a small face. I think the size is a little, yeah, a little too small for me for blush personally. I kind of go for a little bit more of like a bigger size brush but it did perform well i might actually use this for cream contour i think this is also going to be like a really nice cream contour brush yeah like all right next we have the pretty vulgar my lips are sealed lightweight liquid lipstick this retails for 24 dollars and it does say it is a highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish nice comfortable creamy texture and this is the little guy right here first of all i do want to mention the packaging for me is just life i love those ladylike type of very very feminine um packaging it is what i'm wearing today the color i would describe as a mixture between rose gold and like a copper color again it's the only thing that i'm wearing on my lips first of all i think it's a little weird because it says that it's a liquid lipstick for me for some weird reason i felt like it was gonna dry down which it does not now that i think about it liquid lipstick just means that it's a liquid a lipstick that you can apply with a dofer applicator even though i do kind of enjoy that color i just don't see myself rocking this color privately okay <laughs> to like put this on and go to school or go to work or go somewhere outside i just don't see that happening even though i do think it is a beautiful color the texture is nice it's not it's hydrating it's not too sticky and a lot of times if you have a lot of little glitter particles or something in a product you can feel it and it feels kind of like crumbly it does not do that at all it's nice i don't know i might use it again next is the tire tardis lash paint mascara and when i saw this i was actually really really excited because i do own a few tart products they normally never really disappoint me now the bristles are made out of um like plastic or silicone or something like that honestly i didn't really expect too much of this guy just because i personally really am into voluminous lashes if i use a mascara i feel like it has to be like a lot and i remember i have the i own the other ones lash camera ready lashes something from Tarte which was not it's not bad but it's not my favorite I applied it I used it on my lower lashes and I'm gonna zoom you guys in because I actually don't own any lashes okay my lashes are like little small and as you can tell it definitely lengthened them so I am pretty impressed with this and last but not least is the Beauty Basics Bronze Essentials which retails for $39.95 it says use individually or mix together for your ultimate bronze and glow 
this is the product right here now I'm not gonna lie when I first saw this on their site I was thinking oh my gosh here go the bronzers okay your girl is mixed so therefore my skin tone is a little bit of a deeper complexion and a lot of times when it comes to bronzers that people call individually usable it doesn't work that way okay it looks like nothing on my skin I was lucky because this shade right here deepens it up to the point to where I actually can use it it does come with three different brown colors if you see this this is a little bit more light and a little bit more on the warmer side this is pretty cool toned really deep brown if you're a lighter complexion I feel like you would actually be able to use this as your contour and this one here maybe to bronze up your face a little bit now I also after I got done applying it went all through everything and just applied it all over my face and I felt like it kind of really put everything together I really like this the only thing that I don't really like about it is that those things look so small I feel like if you want to use them individually you have to really make sure that you only hit that one spot which requires a little bit of work but other than that I'm really obsessed with this product all in all this month's box had a total value of $130 remember this box is only $21 a month I am happy with the products that were in this month's box definitely and I think that it was a nice box for the end of the year i really hope you guys enjoyed this month's box and you did enjoy your box let me know in the comments down below which products you would love to try or which products you did try how the products did perform for you and i will see you guys in my next video bye